I'm Dr. Brad Tucker. I'm one of the astronomers here at Mount Stromlo Observatory. And we're gonna go on a tour to see all of the amazing things here, including places where we build satellites that go into space, lasers to talk to the moon, giant meteorites, and a whole lot more. Mount Stromlo Observatory is the headquarters of the Astronomy, Astrophysics, and Space groups here at ANU. Mount Stromlo was started in 1911, two years before Canberra. And we've been carrying out observations on the mountain since essentially September of 1911. We've done everything from studying the sun to solar eruptions, stars that explode, black holes, finding new planets and everything in between. So let's go on a journey together. So this is the site of the original workshops where we build telescopes, instruments and satellites. Now this was destroyed in the Canberra bushfires and our new facility we're going to go check out. But on the site of this location, we have these three small telescopes and we use these for school groups and the public to come up and do stargazing here from Mount Strumlo. So it's a great way of interacting with anyone to show them the beauty of space uh, with their own eyes. There's nothing quite like seeing the rings of Saturn with your own eyes. So this is the site of the Uppsala telescope built in the 50s with Uppsala, Sweden to monitor stars. We even monitor some of the first satellites like Sputnik. Now, these two domes have been built post bushfires, and we use these with the ACT education. These are actually research telescopes for high school students. Students who are wanting to do astronomy, to do some creative work, can come here and use these facilities. So just only high school students in the region get to do cutting edge science from Mount Stromlo. Just over my shoulder on the top of Mount Stromlo is the original telescope, the Audi telescope, the ruins which were built in 1911. But next to it represents our cutting edge work done with the private company Electro Optic Systems. This is a space junk tracking laser. We can find objects centimeters wide, thousands of kilometers above the earth. And this is an aid to catalog and help clean up space. And right now we're leading a project to help develop a laser that will actually remove this debris. By using a laser that can cause it to deorbit it, we can have it burn up in the Earth's atmosphere safely, cleaning up space with lasers here at Mount Trump. So we are standing next to the 50-inch Melbourne Telescope, originally built for the Melbourne Observatory. It was moved to Mount Stromlo in the 1950s. It did important things like trying to find what dark matter could be, and in the process actually found some of the first planets around other stars we call exoplanets. It was also used by Brian Schmidt uh, to study supernova, these big explosions distantly off into space for his Nobel Prize winning work in 2011. In 2003, this telescope was planned to be an automated facility to digitally map the skies. But the fires changed that plan and now we have SkyMapper at Siding Spring Observatory creating the first digital map of the southern skies. So we're in the main part of Mount Stromlo Observatory with a number of buildings housing our academics, engineers, scientists, students, and support staff. There's over 180 people working on site. We're in the Duffield building. This is one of our main academic buildings at Mount Stromlo where lots of our students' offices are and other astronomers. When you come in, you're actually greeted by this fancy door stop, which is actually a meteorite. This landed outside Alice Springs about 5,000 years ago. And this somewhat seemingly small rock uh, weighs about 250 kilograms, mostly made up of iron and nickel. And this is one of the things that we also do at Mount Stromlo and Siding Spring Observatories, tracking asteroids as they come near the Earth and entering the Earth. And eventually things like this are studied at the Research School of Earth Sciences here at ANU. So now we're headed to the Advanced Instrumentation Technology Center. We call this the AITC. This is where we build telescopes. We build cameras for telescopes, laser systems, satellites. In fact, what we call the National Space Test Facility is inside here. This allows us to do our cutting edge work, building facilities, not just at Mount Stromlo and Siding Spring Observatory, but all around the world and even beyond. So this is what we call the integration hall. This is where we assemble test and get ready telescopes, cameras for telescopes, and satellites. Down here is the simu space simulation chamber, we called our extra large wombat, where we test equipment to make sure it is ready for space. So we're gonna go ahead down and take a closer look. So we are in the lab where we are building some of the cameras and telescopes that we're gonna be using around the world. Down uh, uh, at the end, we have an instrument called Veloce, which is gonna precisely measure the atmospheres of other planets from our telescope at Siding Spring. 
we have new systems called adaptive optics, and this using lasers and mirrors that can change shape, actually take out the effects of twinkling stars. And this is all where it's actively being built and designed. So our extra large wombat here is a space simulator. This pumps out all of the air and creates a vacuum like you're in space. So if you were to go in there, you would actually need a spacesuit to survive. We also pump and change the temperature. So we think of space as being cold, but it can also be hot. As you're going around the Earth, you can go in front of the sun, which is hundreds of degrees Celsius, and then into the shadow, which is minus 100 degrees Celsius. So when you build a satellite or camera that's gonna go up there, you need to make sure it's gonna work. And this is the largest facility of its kind in the entire Southern Hemisphere. And we use it not just for our own work here, but other groups around Australia and New Zealand. We also have in the back a new telescope that is just getting ready for use. And this is gonna be a laser optical communication station. We're gonna start sending data to the moon via lasers. We also have new lasers under development in the box, as well as a room that can actually test the quietness of a receiver. If you're to go in the anechoic chamber, it is so quiet you can hear things like your heart beating because we need to know exactly how strong our satellite's going to be over its distance. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of Mount Strumlo and all our awesome facilities up here. Thanks for watching and make sure to come and visit us when you're in Canberra.